Hello and welcome back to the Chris Hughes Racing Blog and today's video is all about the Karoon Karting Carnival. We competed at Wilton Mill in a team event for an hour endurance race. My team was called Rogue 4 and it consisted of myself, my dad, Chris Keach and one of our newer drivers, Ollie Peacock. It was an interesting day, it was pretty cold, which didn't make, make too much difference at Wilton Mill. Um, it's quite a lot of grip in the meantime. This new Sodi RT8s, so that was quite good. I didn't really find much difference as the last time I was there. It was absolutely torrential, so it was a good change. Um, in qualifying, we all took it in turns for a 30 minute session. Uh, we worked backwards as my dad started first, I started second, Ollie and Chris, as we wanted to start Chris each first. So in the meantime, we were about P9 or 10 while dad was out getting his four or five laps in. I managed to get us up to P6 for a little bit before we got shuffled down to P8, which was quite pretty good out of 25 teams. Can't say I was disappointed with the caliber of drivers that we had there. Um, so yeah, it's pretty pretty good. Um, race got going and Chris Geach started the race for us from P8 and managed to get us all the way into P2 for a long time, which was very impressive. There's some elbow barging to get us into the into the front running. Um, group. Um, by the time I jumped in, we were about P3. Uh, for, I jumped in second, so I managed to hold off and maintain the pace, which was pretty good as I hadn't actually driven the international circuit and found I had quite a lot of confidence, although I did nearly flip the car, two wheeling it through one of the corners, which I'm not sure what number, what number turn it was, but it was pretty scary. Um, worked pretty hard on that stint, did about 15 minutes. Kept it in P3. Most of the session uh, was running 56.9, 57.0s, which is pretty good for a first time there in the dry, as we've not actually done that layout, as I said. Um, topping over to our next drivers, who maintained the pace and eventually got us into third, which got us a guaranteed ticket to the grand final, which we're all pretty pleased with. That's got us a P8 start, which we were the eighth quickest team out of the 22 that made it to the, to the final as the top 11 teams from each group as those two groups got through to the final. This is where it all went downhill. As we kept a similar strategy we decided to send Chris out first again to try and get his elbows out to get us out in front. Unfortunately the cart didn't have that same idea and the engine we had was a little bit off and we were almost certain that one of the tyres was going down as we struggled to make right hand corners. In the end, um, we struggled and kept in to about P10, P11. It all got up to 7th for a long time. By the time I jumped in there wasn't much to do and we just kind of settled into a rhythm and tried to hold on to as many positions as possible. Um, there wasn't much else I could do, no amount of curb hopping and um, late braking was really making much difference as when we were getting to the straights we, we lost so much pace on the rest of the drivers it wasn't really much worth fighting them off so after doing taking off taking out some back markers in the end we finished P12 which again considering who we were against a lot of the drivers who from Kovka, high level championships, racing cars etc and world endurance a lot it really was a great event and I think I learned quite a lot as myself for, for a driver, from a driver's perspective. Um, took on a lot and it was great to be the underdog team as we surprised a lot of guys who were running at the front, especially in our main race. When our team was trolling around in P3, there were certainly some shocked faces. Excellent. Anyway, that's it from me. Um, going to do another blog for the Sutton Elms Mods TV special as I forgot to do that at the same time. So, thank you, and see you next time.